نوشين شباب باحثة أمنية أولى في فريق البحث والتحليل العالمي في كاسبيرسكي في منطقة آسيا والمحيط الهادئ انضمت شباب إلى شركة كاسبيرسكي في عام 2016 وهي باحثة أمنية أولى في أستراليا متخصصة في الهندسة العكسية والتحقيقات في الهجمات المستهدفة وهي جزء من فريق البحث والتحليل العالمي في كاسبيرسكي جريات وتركز أبحاثها على أنشطة الجرائم الإلكترونية المتقدمة والهجمات المستهدفة في منطقة آسيا والمحيط الهادئ Uh, Tetris Phantom is actually an um, APT uh, actor that we have recently discovered and investigated. It actually started with, um, with finding uh, a very sophisticated USB worm earlier in this year. Um, um, when we um, found this file, this malicious file that was targeting a very specific type of secure USB, uh, we found it interesting and started digging deeper to understand what the uh, malware does and we um, figured out that the malware targets a very specific type of secure USB drive which has um, hardware protection and um, has, a, has an encrypted uh, partition to um, give the users the ability to store the files securely and move it from one system to another. And uh, uh, we uh, figured out that the USB drive was actually developed and used exclusively by government entities um, of, um, of a country in APAC region. So um, it um, actually suggests that the attackers were um, after sensitive information that um, could be on air-gapped systems um, uh, because they, they, they were targeting a USB drive. And um, yeah, it turned out after um, digging deeper into the attack, it turned out that um, the actor has been active for actually several years and they have used, de developed and used throughout the years um, a couple of other tools uh, that were used for reconnaissance, collecting information about um, different type of USB drives used in the target environment, uh, I guess to find out how these USB drives or what type of USB drives are used on uh, like air gap systems. And also the other tools were used to um, collect files and, um, and steal uh, uh, files and information from different machines and also different USB drives. Um, so uh, I guess after a few years of collecting information and doing like espionage operations, they got a very good knowledge about this type of uh, secure USB drive that was used in the target environment. And they um, built the capability to compromise the USB drive and um, expand their, um, their infection and their uh, compromise um, systems to even maybe air gap systems. Actually, very good question. Uh, you know, the, the target, the, victi the actual victims are, the numbers are very limited. They are actually very focused, the attackers are very focused on, on a very specific target. And the reason is that this USB drive is, it, it seems to have been used exclusively inside some specific environments. So um, based on the nature of the USB drive that was targeted, so the victims are quite limited. But as I said, if they have managed to get into um, sensitive systems and air-gapped um, um, machines, we have no idea about the, the scale of the, the infection. Um, it might be a lot bigger than uh, what we thought. Um, okay, so we, we, um, we have always been mostly focused on APT attack and uh, APT attacks. And you know, uh, we have been tracking a lot of known APT actors uh, and saw their operations and their new activities. Uh, from time to time, they expand their uh, target um, like profile to um, new countries, sometimes to new um, industries. And um, more or less, it, it all depends on the geopolitical situation of different countries and like political tensions between, uh, between countries. And um, unfortunately, we never um, see 
uh, like lower number of like lower um, political tensions in the world. We always see more and more, and it means that we will see more and more cyber attacks, more and more like APT activities in the future. Um, I guess with uh, more like expanded uh, focus uh, of um, some of the known APT actors and um, maybe some, some new APT groups. Uh, you made a good point. First, first, uh, first uh, thing, first uh, criteria should be interest and uh, like uh, curiosity. Um, so uh, yeah, I would say uh, the, the most important thing is that you have that, uh, you have that um, like passion to look for something that is, um, that is not very obvious. Look for some like hidden, um, like hidden um, behavior that is suspicious or uh, looks malicious. And, and also be able to focus on something for a long time, even though it might not be easy because uh, there's always new challenge. Um, and this is actually the nature of uh, the APT work. If, if it's nothing new, if, it's, if there's no new technique, uh, it, it's not an APT activity because if it's a known technique, it's already been detected and already been mitigated. So when you are in this field, you have to be prepared to always have like new challenges, uh, to deal with new challenges that no one has ever seen. There's no one to help you, to teach you how to do it. And that's the main part. The um, less important part is the, the technical skills, which you can always acquire. You can always uh, practice, look at, I don't know, assembly code, other types of um, like machine code, or even like high-level code, the scripts, um, compiled code, um, network architecture, and these these are also important. But I would say those soft skills are more important. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs>